Hades is just one of those games that really, really draws you in. Like, I'm not kidding. I have spent, I think, over 30, maybe 40 hours playing it, and those first 30 are like in the first three days <laughs> that I got it. <laughs> I really like that they incorporated hard and easy difficulties that you can turn on and off. Well, okay, you can't turn the hard difficulty off, but you'd have to create a different save file, which is fine, I don't want to go in the hard difficulty. <laughs> but God Mode to me was very well done, especially because I tend to struggle in the beginning of games, and that makes it really hard to want to continue playing them. But going through Hades just made it really a lot more accessible with that, that sort of god mode difficulty that I then turned off after I went through a lot of runs. <laughs> By the way, this video will contain some spoilers for Hades, just cause I I'm talking about the game while drawing it. It's gonna happen. <laughs> but I really enjoyed how they incorporated so much mythology so much Greek mythology and even a little bit of uh, different mythologies inside of it, which I was surprised by. I was not expecting the, um, like the weapons. They have different aspects that you can upgrade to, and one of them, I immediately recognized it. I was like, Ram? Like, Ram Krishna? And it was, it was really funny to, to be like, whoa, I recognize this weapon. Um, and I don't know, it just, it really was an interesting way to incorporate these different mythologies as a way for the fates to say that these weapons would pass through them, which is pretty cool. A lot of my sketching process here is going to be same old, same old. I gather a lot of references when I do fan art, just because, you know, I need to see the character's face. <laughs> It, it is a real benefit of fan art that I tend to stretch outside of my comfort zone because I have to maintain more consistency with like the character's face and they may have design elements that I don't usually draw. Like, I don't draw a lot of older people, which isn't because I don't like drawing them, it's just that I don't practice enough and so I end up accidentally, inadvertently avoiding it. Ugh, but it was, it was a bit of a struggle, but it was really fun. It was a nice challenge. I really enjoyed that. I think fan art brings out uh, a different way to explore your artistic skills, especially because you get to draw a character or multiple characters interacting, which is a thing that a lot of people may avoid. Uh, you may have to draw characters in a specific setting, in the game or in whatever media they're in and I mean outside of that you may be drawing them in more dynamic poses or with a lot more complex and ornate details than you usually incorporate different shape language all that sort of stuff fan art is very useful in in stretching you past the certain same old same old types of designs that you may use for your own characters or your own doodles. Supergiant Games is is a studio that I followed for a very long time. Like way back in seventh grade, I sang uh, "We All Become" the from the game Transistor. It's one of my favorite games. I've always watched playthroughs of it, but since uh, a lot of the Supergiant games were on sale, I decided to get Transistor, Pyre, and Hades and got to play through all of them. I'm still going through Pyre a bit more. I say a bit more, I just started it. <laughs> Hades, I'm, I'm past, again spoilers, I'm past fighting Hades uh, the ten times and now I'm just trying to, to max out friendships with everyone before the the big feast. I'm trying to aim towards that. Uh, Transistor? Transistor is a short game. 
and that made it very quick to go through. It's a very quick game, but I really, really enjoyed being able to play it. Oh, I, I, maybe I'll do another video where I ramble about Transistor and Pyre together because I'm still going through Pyre. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. They're not given as much love, but I really, really enjoy them. I, I think I went completely off topic. Uh, in seventh grade, I uh, sang We All Become from Transistor for my talent show. That was a thing. And I don't know. It, it holds a very special place in my heart to the point where when I started playing Transistor, I immediately knew the music and sang whenever it came up. It was so good. <laughs> Such a good experience. With Hades and Dying, I really like that they made Dying something that isn't as painful as it could be. The reason I turned on God Mode was just because if I don't make progress enough in a certain place and I don't have the time or, or protection to learn, the patterns of enemies, I get way too annoyed with the game and don't want to continue it as much. So I, I used god mode to learn patterns of enemies and then eventually turned it off when I felt a lot more confident. Um, I think it's really nice that dying lets you interact with all the different characters over and over and that there's so much damn dialogue. Oh my god. I, I was not expecting. I mean, I did expect it. I, I knew what I was getting into because I absorbed so much Hades content from just watching clips on YouTube. <laughs> but even then, there were there was stuff that I just didn't know was going to happen. Like in the fights, in the fight with the Gorgon, and I think the, the crusher, like the big crusher thing that has a little circle shadow over you that slowly gets smaller as it zones in and tries to crush you. I was not expecting Zagreus to be like my favorite power couple. <laughs> it made me cackle so bad that I died <laughs> in the game. <laughs> Which, I mean, hey, I lost that run, but it was it was a good way to lose a run. It was very fun in that one. <laughs> I also especially like how in Hades there is so much character art. Oh my god. I, I've always really loved the, the art direction, and it's a very small team, so it, it tends to be pretty consistent. Um, oh, oh, good grief. The character designs are so ornate and pretty. I love, I love how much detail is put into them. And even little things like Daedalus's hammer, or, or even just the, the effects of inside the sticks, you can see the hands coming out. That stuff is just so interesting to me. Plus the, even in like Skelly, you can see in his mouth the little, um, uh, the, the coin, which, uh, Obol, oh, I know the name, I'm forgetting it. <laughs> but it gives you a hint as to who is paying him, which is really, really interesting. Oh, all these little details, it's so cool. Plus how different characters recognize what sort of um, artifacts you have or what sort of keepsake you're wearing. It, I finally figured out how to make Patroclus interact with me and give me his name because I was like, ah, how do I do it? How do I do it? And then I remembered that people always react to your keepsakes and I was like oh just put on Achilles uh like bracer and then he's gonna recognize it and he did it's it's interesting to to learn so much from what the game shows and not what it tells <laughs> this is just gonna be me gushing about the game which I mean isn't that what we all come here for Another interesting detail is how Demeter has a, a little bit of Persephone's sort of hair ribbon with her in her hands. Ah, oh, all these little details. Plus, um, seeing Persephone was just so, so good. I'd, I'd seen clips on YouTube, but it, it just, it was not the same 
until you experienced it. My hands were like shaking and numb after I fought Hades and actually killed him. Like the adrenaline was running through me and something about the, the rush of music, of, of the music on the coast and you getting to see that sunset, the cold, crisp environment because of Demeter being, you know, so furiated with not being able to find her daughter that she turns everything into a snowy ice scape, which is accurate to the mythology. Gosh, they kept so much mythology. I already mentioned this, but, or maybe I'm gonna move that clip somewhere else, but so much mythology. Oh my gosh. Uh, and then you walk over and you just get that, that beautiful ending music, that somber, sort of bittersweet song, and you see Persephone, and the, the, your vision floods with the, the bloom effect that they put. You see all of the greenery that you don't see in the underworld, and it just feels like the best. Persephone's voice, her and Demeter share the same voice actor. Ah. Oh. It's so good. It's so warm and safe. And every time you go back to the garden, it's so nice. I'm so sad that you can't go back to it, but I did I did get in the coast in the I did get on the coast in the game. That's a tongue twister. And so I get to listen to it inside of the house. Which I'm very, very thankful for. <laughs> I need to keep a piece of that. I also absolutely love how they did um, Persephone and Hades' relationship in the game. It made me so gushy. Oh, th there was something so sweet about like going back and Hades being like, I would do anything that you would ask of me. I was like, yes, yes, perfect. Oh, it's so good. I love it. I just love all the dynamics in the game. I don't think there's a character that I hate, which is, I mean, it's, it's, it's not surprising because the game really makes each character feel very fleshed out in their own ways. Even like Theseus, I was like, he's annoying, but in a way that isn't annoying, you know? His, his boisterous nature kind of, kind of, you know, ah, there he is, overconfident and sometimes just the right amount of confidence to kill us. <laughs> ah, it's so nice. Like, the voice acting on all the characters is stellar. Having to voice that many lines, oh my gosh, wild, wild. Also, of course, with Hades 2, I drew uh, a little bit of fan art of, like, Child Melanoe. I, I might be mispronouncing her name, um, but I just, I really love the idea that she would be the type of kid who's like, I just want to take a dip into the sticks because I see my big brother doing it all the time and just falls into it. <laughs> but, uh, I'm so excited for the second game because I, I definitely think I overused God Mode in this one. It didn't quite get the the full experience that I wanted, but that's also okay because the, the post game is still really fun. Um, but I definitely want to try, if they still include God Mode, which I assume they will, I want to try doing God Mode for like one area and then once I get past that sort of boss once, I turn off god mode for that area, and then I turn it back on for the next one, and then the same sort of pattern, so that I can learn the patterns of an area, but I don't have to worry about struggling through it. <laughs> and also, um, another thing with the mythology, there were little bits and pieces that I was really excited to hear, like when we saw Theseus, I was like, oh, is, is Ariadne going to be mentioned? And I was like, oh, please, Dionysus, come on, come through, come through. And he did. He mentioned it. He was like, Theseus, wasn't that great, man? I, I saw Ariane and decided to help her. And I'm like, yes, yes. And also with Hades too, since Nemesis is in there, oh my gosh, so pretty. Nemesis, 
oh, I, um, I recognized in Hades, the first one, that you can see Nemesis's crest. And I was like, oh, that's the connection. So it's really interesting to see these, these bits and pieces that are going to overlap. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for the second game. Oh. <laughs> and of course, like, the way that you're able to have relationships with... You're able to have relationships with Thanatos and Meg, which makes me very happy. I'm glad I don't have to choose, because I just, I want to be there for everyone. <laughs> I have enough nectar and ambrosia to just throw at everyone. It's so nice. It makes me very happy. I, oh, I love the, the sort of way that backstory is incorporated. I, it's so, so fun. I, I'm usually not the type of person who plays roguelikes or really any fighting heavy games, but with the addition of the mirror and the boons and all that sort of stuff, it makes it a lot more manageable and a lot more fun uh, than it usually is for me to play like a game where you have to die over and over because usually I just get way too frustrated and then don't really continue and so that's why I tend to stick to games like Stardew Valley or like Otome games that sort of stuff but I don't know this one was just really good which of course is expected from Super Giant Games man oh. It's always so nice. I also am a sucker for games that include a distant dad who's trying to reconnect with his son. I mean, the new God of War games have really been so fun with that. It's fun? I mean, yes, but it's just been really sweet. It always like warms my heart. I keep, I keep gifting um, <laughs> Hades fuck ton of, like, the, the, uh, nectar, because I'm just like, please, let's be friends. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh, it makes me so happy when I see that sort of connection start to be reestablished between, like, a distant dad and their, their child. It makes me happy. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll make more videos about uh, super giant games, especially because I just I just want to hear more about Transistor Man <laughs> and Pyre. I'm I just I love those two games, and they're they're a bit less known, um, and they just they make me happy. Oh, also, I uh, bought The Witcher, the full version for The Witcher Three, on sale for like nine bucks. So maybe maybe I'll do a video on that eventually, that is going to depend on if I can find, uh, any, and I mean any way, for my laptop to survive, because let me tell you, there, there's a reason why I picked God Mode in Hades, and it's because I'm playing on a trackpad, man. I, I mean, I'm glad I adjusted the, um, controls, because it made it a bit more easier on my poor hands, but Ooh, it's rough. Playing playing on a trackpad is rough, but you do what you can. And also, you know, my laptop does not have infinite space. It does not have like three billion terabytes of data. It <laughs> it is a, a little it's a little little guy trying to survive. So I I'm not in the business of ruining it once more. <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe if I can ever get, like, a PC. I don't know. I'm not interested in buying one, but maybe if I need to get one for gamers. For becoming the gaming of gamers. <laughs> I'll get one and play The Witcher on there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Is there any other series that you would like me to do? Or any other thing that please be sure to tell me? Or whatever thing people say. I don't know. I just do the stuff that interests me. Or that I'm very hyper fixated on. <laughs> yes. Thank you again for watching my very 
uh, long rambles and my very gushy mind. Mind? Oh, good grief. I am, a I am making no sense. Uh, thank you. Please go. Bye. Hi, also, complete side note. I love Nyx so much. Oh, oh. Also, Chaos is great too, but oh my gosh, Nyx. Oh, she's so pretty. She's so warm and sweet and comforting. And I love how you can really see how so many people in Zagreus's life sort of Wow, I, I hit something, sorry. <laughs> but so many people in Zagreus's life in the game make such a, a good impact on him developing. It's just, it's so nice. Oh, I also love the detail that inside of Hades' bedchamber, after um, you, you get Persephone back, you see her little bag next to like the bed, and you see her little pillow, and you can also see the portrait, and you can click on it a lot of times and get different dialogue about the portrait. It's so good. Oh, it's so sweet. I love, I love the, I love the family. It's so good. <laughs> okay, yes. Final bye. Final bye. Goodbye. Leaving.